Hi, everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A paralyzed man is now able to move his own hand for the first time in four years thanks to a new bit of neurotechnology. The man is Ian Burkhart, a 23-year-old from Dublin, Ohio, who was rendered a quadriplegic by a diving accident four years ago. The new bit of technology is the NeuroBridge, a device developed by the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center and Battelle. The NeuroBridge acts as a bypass, receiving nerve signals from the brain and sending them on directly to the paralyzed muscles, circumventing the damaged spinal cord. Burkhart is the first patient to participate in the first human clinical study of NeuroBridge. If the study is successful and NeuroBridge wins FDA approval, it could dramatically brighten the rehabilitation prospects of people with spinal cord injuries and return some mobility and control to people who otherwise would have been paralyzed for life. Next up, astronomers working on NASA's Cassini mission announced the sudden appearance and disappearance of a mysterious island on Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. Despite how undeniably alien it is, there's much about Titan that would seem familiar to Earthlings like ourselves. The moon has an atmosphere and weather, mountains, and even rivers and seas. Though on Titan, the rivers and seas are not of water, but liquid methane. It was near the coast of one of the largest of those seas, called Ligia Mare, that astronomers studying images taken by the Cassini spacecraft noticed a feature they'd never seen before. A bright object had appeared in the sea, but when astronomers checked images taken two weeks later on a subsequent flyby, the new feature was nowhere to be seen. The Cassini team has nicknamed it the Magic Island, but the technical term for this sort of thing is transient feature. Speculation on what the Magic Island was ranges from waves misinterpreted by Cassini's radar imaging system to a solid mass brought temporarily to the surface of Ligia Mare. Whatever it was, the Magic Island is a reminder that Titan's surface is an active, ever-changing environment. There may not be life there, but that doesn't mean nothing interesting is happening. Finally, a new study conducted at the University at Buffalo suggests that playing video games can encourage some people to adopt more moral behavior in real life. The study, published in the journal Cyber Psychology, Behavior, and Social Networking, found that subjects who were asked to commit immoral acts in a video game felt guilt as a result of their actions, and that guilt increased their moral sensitivity. The study observed a strong positive correlation between video game-induced guilt and the subject's awareness of the moral foundations that had been violated during gameplay. Based on previous studies that have found that guilt from immoral actions done in the real world can elicit more moral pro-social behavior in people, the authors of this study suggest that guilt from immoral actions done in video games could lead to similar real-world results. New technology allows a paralyzed man to move his hand again, a mysterious island appears and disappears on the surface of Titan, and playing video games might actually make you a better person. Who would have thought? That's the good news. Was that so bad?